Mazda's MX-30 rotary EV is unique in that it is equipped with a revived rotary engine, albeit for power generation. This could not be better news for rotary fans. This new rotary engine has a single rotor of 830cc and is called the 8C type. The 13B type rotary engine that was previously installed in the RX-7 slash RX-8 is a 654cc 2 rotor. In other words, the 8C type is a completely newly developed rotary. Although the displacement of the single rotor has increased, the output is modest at 72 PS. Considering that the 13B installed in the previous RX-8 was non-turbo but boasted 250 PS, the new 8C type rotary is characterized by prioritizing space saving for power generation. The MX-30 rotary EV combines this 8C type rotary engine with a 170 PS motor and 17.8 kilowatts hour lithium ion batteries. The motor and engine unit are packed inside the hood. By the way, the EV version of its sibling, the MX-30 EV, only had a motor under its hood, leaving about a third of the space empty. If you put a rotary engine in that space, it becomes the MX-30 R EV. As the EV in the name suggests, the MX-30 rotary EV is powered entirely by an electric motor. However, since it is equipped with an engine to generate electricity, it is classified as a series hybrid. In addition, the onboard secondary battery can be charged externally, so the official name is plug. In series hybrid car although it says EV, it is a hybrid vehicle. If you fully charge it overnight, you can drive up to 107 km WLTC mode during the day in EV mode. Surprisingly few people run more than 100 km in a day. Even if a person runs 10,000 km a year, if you divide that by 365 days, that's only about 27.4 km per day. It can travel 107 km as an EV, so it can essentially be used as an EV. However, if you go on a long weekend drive, the rotary engine generates electricity, so long distances are not scary. The fuel efficiency is 15.4 kml and the fuel tank is 50L, so it can travel 770 km while generating electricity from the engine. Adding the 107 km EV range to this gives a total range of 870 km. Also, don't overlook the fact that they are cheaper than BEVs because they can eliminate the need for expensive lithium-ion batteries. It can handle EV driving on weekdays and long drives on weekends, and is cheaper than BEV. It can be called the optimal solution for current electric vehicles.